Well, in this case, we are going to test uh, a fire pump motor. First with the all test, and then with the Baker AWA 4 6KV unit. Uh, for the all test equipment, I'm going to go ahead and do the auto mode. Short the leads together. Connect the winding. Run the test. Phase one. Connect winding two. Run the test. Winding three. Run the test. Okay. Looks okay. Do an insulation and ground test. Yes, we will. Change my lead position. Looks okay. Megohms, press OK, we can save our data, A, B, C, phase, save it, yes. What we're looking at here is we have balance, oh, we have slightly unbalanced resistance. The uh, phase angle is off by more than one degree, meaning we have some type of short uh, measured balanced here and balanced here, so it looks like we have a slight short. What we'll do is we'll change the shaft position, run the test one more time. Shaft position is changed. Test. Okay. The next lead. Press OK. And it's in the same order. Press OK. Press OK. Skip the insulation test, we've already done it. Uh, you'll note that there's been a slight change. Resistance is balanced. I've got uh, uh, 6, 6, and 5 ohms of impedance. My phase angle has changed position. This means that my phase, on, my, uh, phase angle unbalance is due to uh, rotor bars. So I have casting voids or uh, bad rotor down here and everything else is balances to change as well. Again, that indicates the rotor. You change the shaft, shaft position and you change uh, and you keep everything else the same and it changes by phase, then the problem is in the rotor. In this case, we're testing the AWA4 6KV unit on uh, this machine. Uh, same one we did the all test on, which is a 50 horsepower machine. Uh, in this case, set up for 200 volts. 
we're going to set up is a 230 volt in the machine. So what we need to do is add a new motor. We do this. Um, we've already got the database set up for our incoming area. Uh, we're going to call this uh, by the job number. Model um, number here is a T672. Um, it is a US electric. Uh, serial number F01. set up to do the 230 volt testing. So we got all this stuff entered. We go to tests. Have it set up already for uh, resistance. Uh, Mega test the dielectric absorption only. A high pot 700 volts. The surge to 700 volts only. Um, we now connect the leads and ground. 